The snowman's disappeared. He's not disappeared, Elsa, he's melted. It yeah, it's too warm here. The snow from the North Pole will melt. Yeah. What? Oh! Mistletoe! Oh look, there's Bob and Holly as well. And uh, they put my train away up there. See spot behind you. <laughs> oh, magic's doing as usual, posing beside the deer. So we've got the scarf, the hat, carrot nose and his arms. Oh, it's button, button eyes. Poor snowman Elsa, we're going to change jingles. Oh jingles, you're nearly there, only three days to go once Brooke changes this. There we go, Jingles. Three days to go. Nearly there. What are we on today? Eleven. A lot of people said you have to sing. Eleven days to go, eleven days till Santa. Oh, Number 14 today. Oh, I like the look of that shape. Is it sweeties? Rolos! I like Rolos. It's a little Rolos, I love them. You're not getting Oh, that's not very Christmassy of you. It's chocolate, that's very true. <laughs> right, Hogwarts. Let's see, is it going to be Slytherin or Gryffindor today? Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Is that a notebook? <laughs> oh, you got a Slytherin yesterday. I didn't show them actually. There's your sticker. Right, number 14 today, Abby. Oh, I like the shape of that one as well. Rick got Rolos. What you got? They taste different. Is it the Orange Smarties? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. They do. Right, okay viewers, you have to settle this argument. Comment down below, do orange Smarties taste different to normal Smarties? Me and Abby say yes, they taste of orange, but Brooke said they taste just the same as the rest. No, they don't. They taste of orange. What are you doing on Brooke's day? What are you doing up there? I'm very comfy. I'm very comfy. A house. A house, okay. Ooh, friends! You've heard me say that. Say what? Ooh, friends! Ooh, friends! <laughs> Ooh, school day! Let's get ready! Sorry. <laughs> Milky Bar Advent calendar time and it's number 14 today and I think it's a star and um, mistletoe. Oh, it's another horse! Oh, another one for Brooke. <laughs> I love how they've got the horse putting the antlers on, that's so cute. Oh, is that a snowman, Ted? Oh, is that a snowman? I just love guessing. It's a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, so cute. And the Christmas tree behind the chocolate. Oh, love it. It's day 14 of my Advent Swap with Laura. And would you look at the envelope. I love, I think this is my favourite paper so far, Laura. The little reindeer. Some of them are sparkly. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it's so cute. It's really, really cute. Right, let's see what we've got today. Oh, let's get the chocolate first. Milky bar. Yay, that goes with my Milky bar advent calendar. Love it, love it, love it. Look. Oh, the Owls on the the branch. Oh, I love that. We've got a nice polka dot tag. Oh, I like that. It says, be all that you dream to be. That's very true. You always should be. 
Oh, another butterfly. Oh, ombre paper. Is it ombre? Is that? Is that? I don't know. It's lovely anyway. <laughs> oh, another horse. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, we've got a nice cuppa. Definitely coffee going in there or maybe hot chocolate. You never know. Just not tea. Yuck. And we've got a lovely navy tag. Look at the gorgeous sparkly envelope that says thank you. Oh, that'll be brilliant to send to somebody as a in a card. Can maybe even put a couple of wee bits in there. Oh, and guess what? Guess what? How great would that be for a Christmas card? <laughs> Happy Christmas. Oh, I'm so excited for Christmas. Oh, thanks again, Laura. I love it all. As well. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and Vlogmas Day 15. And we have found the elves. Silly elves. Imagine trying to bring a snowman back from the North Pole, not realising it would melt in the house. All that was left of that poor snowman was his scarf and his buttons and his hat and his nose and his arms. Just a puddle of water. You'd think they would learn by now, wouldn't you? Anyway, uh, we have done our advents as well, which was great. Chocolate always goes down well with the girls. And um, I loved mine, as always. I did miss the dogs getting theirs. Update, Clyde took his this morning. Rana took it, but dropped it and went to play with it. Rana's got this thing. He's a huge dog, but he likes to pounce. He, it's like he shuffles. Um, I'll see if I can find a clip of him doing it when he was a pup because it's hilarious and I'll put it in. <laughs> but he, he sort of shuffles at things like that and he was doing that with it and Willa just came up and stole it. <laughs> so poor Rannach, he should know by now. If you're not fast, you're last in this house. That's what happens. But yeah, I didn't get any footage of it. Sorry about that. Right, so in today's Vlogmas, I am going to show you what I bought in Aldi and Home Bargains on Saturday when the girls were going around with Santa. I did promise you that I would do a little haul. So today's Vlogmas is a cheeky little haul. We do love these, don't we? Yes, we do. Right, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to go with Home Bargains first, I think. And I have got my receipt, so I will be able to tell you how much things are. Um, I did pick up a couple of things for the girls, but I don't think they're going to watch this, so it should be okay. Fingers crossed. It's not actual presents as such. I think it was for the crackers and things like that. Remember, they got the crackers, they make your own crackers on Saturday. So if they see it, it's not a big disaster. But let's get into it. Not a very exciting thing to pull out first. I got 15 freezer bags with the slide zip. Now, these were 69 pence compared to £2 odd in Asda that I paid for the same amount. These are maybe slightly smaller, but they're still perfect size for um, Brooks. At lunch. It's ridiculous that they charge that amount in us. Brooks Crave Choco Roulette. Update the craves that we got in my last Asda haul that I showed you, the new chocolate peanut craves. Brooke didn't like them at all. She couldn't eat them. And it's unusual for Brooke to not eat craves, especially something that's chocolate and peanut flavour. She really didn't like them. So I picked up the Choco Roulette, which is a favourite, and they were £1.99. Um, you don't get them in Asda very often, but when you do, they're usually about £2.99, so I always pick these up when I'm in Home Bargains or b and I have been looking for this for ages, the Gingerbread Toffee Coated Popcorn. Now, I saw this a long, long time ago and thought, well, I'm going to pick that up nearer to Christmas, and then haven't, had the, haven't been able to find it since. So when I found this, I picked it up. It was 89 pence, and I'm so looking forward just diving into it. I know that Tracy, the Mad Scots lass, she has some of this with her Christmas movie night on a Saturday. So I'm looking forward to this. And I've got the, a funny feeling that the elves might try to steal some of this as well. You never know. Watch this space. My most expensive purchase of the haul was this, the Minky M Cloth High Tech Duster. Now, I will be talking more about this in my favourites video because I love it. But this was £2.79 but they're just amazing and it's well worth the £2.79, I'll tell you that. But I'll talk about it more in my favourites video which will be coming up soon. I picked up two of these when I saw them. Salted caramel hot chocolate spoons. Um, these will go in the girls' stockings. They love 
for Brooke especially, I would quite like the hot chocolate now and again, but Brooke loves the hot chocolate, especially one that real chocolate is used in. So I got one for each of their stockings. They were 99 pence each. And you get and you get two spoons in a pack. I also picked up one of these for each of their stockings. It is the Reese's Christmas tree, king size, and you get two trees in there for 99 pence. So I got one for each of them again for in their stocking. They both love Reese's. You can blame them. Oh, so do I, which is why I picked up this. The Reese's White King size. I've been looking for this for ages because um, my cousin was talking about them and I thought I need them. So there are three, oh there's four, even better. Four of these in the pack and that was 99 pence as well. I'm so looking forward to trying them. I love white chocolate, I love peanut butter. The two together, mwah. <laughs> wanted to pick something up for the puppies while I was there and I saw these so I got them. It's wet box. 100% beef chews and it was only a pound and it's quite a big pack, it's 200 grams so they will enjoy them. There's lots of rawhide treats that are really really cheap but please don't give your dog rawhide. I've seen so many um, horror stories recently on Facebook and Instagram and places like that of dogs that have had to have operations to remove massive lumps of rawhide because it's not easily digestible and it just builds up in their stomach or their intestines and it's horrible. So I know it's very tempting, there's so many really nice looking Christmassy treats out there that are rawhide but if you can avoid it please do or just give them a little bit. So I got these anyway because they're 100% beef for a pound. This was the thing I was thinking of that I picked up to put in Abby's cracker and it is Pout Perfecting Potion by W7 and it's Magic Prep and Prime Lip Serum. So you basically, you put it on your lips before you put your lipstick on and it's apparently going to help you pump them up or something. I don't know, it was only one forty nine. I think, yeah. It was only £1.49. I thought it's the perfect size and shape for in her cracker. So that'll be great. I might give her a wee chocolate or something like that. And finally from Home Bargains, I love these and I don't think I've shown them before on this channel. It's the Dairy Milk Orange Chocolate Snowman. Oh, they're so good. It's like a truffle inside it, but it's orange chocolate. Oh, really, really tasty. And I can't remember how much they are in Asda, but they're quite expensive. And in Home Bargains, they were down to 39 pence. They're at least double that in Asda. I should have picked up more, but to be honest, I actually picked it up to eat at the time on Saturday because I was hungry, but I never got a chance to eat it. So. Yeah, let's talk about to look forward to it. Oh. Right, so that was everything from Home Bargains. I'm going to go into Aldi now. Right, and just to warn you, most of this is sweet treats. Couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. I just love Aldi's cakes and things. So let's get into it. How good do these look? Nine millionaire mini cakes. Oh, they just look so, so good. It says, nine plain sponge cupcakes filled with a salted caramel sauce topped with chocolate flavoured or coffee flavoured frosting and finished with a chocolate roll or crumb sprinkle. Doesn't it just look amazing? £1.79 is all that was for the nine of them. You'd be talking about £4 or something like that in Asda. Great price. This is a staple when I go into Aldi. They didn't have it the last time I was there when I was doing the haul and I was so disappointed. It's the five chocolate tiffin squares. I love these. Aldi's is one of the best kittens that you can get apart from my auntie's homemade stuff and that was £1.49 for the five of them. Love it! I also got these nine salted caramel mini caramel shortcake bites and I just think they look delicious. That was only 75 pence for the nine of them. Mm, yum, yum, yum. I love mini caramel shortcake bites anyway. I love the Thornton's ones, the triple chocolate. They're the best. But I've not tried the salty caramel ones from Aldi, so I'm going to give them a go. I saw that they were doing the 1.25 litre bottle of the Cinnamon Coke Zero and I had to pick it up because it was only 99 pence and I really enjoyed that. I think I showed a small bottle of it in my last Asda haul and I forgot how good it was. So when I saw it in Aldi for 89 pence, I had to pick it up. 
one love that. Now this next one is something else that I have been looking for since I saw it on Tracy's channel in Mad Scots last and that is the gingerbread basin. Oh, so looking forward to that. I believe the girls might have a cookie mix coming up at some point soon in their advents and I thought that would be ideal to put on the top. It was £1.49. That's one of the reasons that I went to my Aldi um, the last time when I, I got that haul but they didn't have it so when I saw it in the Camelon one I had to pick it up. Um, that was £1.49 but they also had the same thing, the chocolate orange flavour which we all love as well, apart from Jack, but that's fine. <laughs> he just doesn't have to have any, he can have the gingerbread ones. So I thought I'll pick up a chocolate orange one as well, again £1.49, and that way they've got a choice. They can have one or the other, but why not? And finally I picked this up for putting in Brooks Cracker when I make them, and it's a Harry Potter, what is it called? It's called a Harry Potter K Bling, and it's like a blind bag but you get a little character in it that you can put on your cables like your phone charger or your earphones, that sort of thing and there's 12 to collect but no idea who she'll get her favourite character is Draco Malfoy just to let you know um, but I don't know if it'll be him or not Collect, protect and personalise your cables It was £1.99 which does seem expensive for a tiny bit of plastic but I know she'll really like it because she's loving everything Harry Potter just now and um, that will be absolutely perfect for her. I just hope it's a character that she likes and not one that she doesn't like. I think she thinks Hermione's a bit of a whinge so she doesn't like her much. Um, but yeah, that's that. So that was everything that I got. Not the biggest haul in the world but I thought there's enough there that's maybe slightly different just to show you and maybe give you some ideas as well. So I hope you've enjoyed them. If you know of anything in Aldi, B&M, Lidl's, Home Bargains, anywhere like that that you think that I would absolutely love, please let me know in the comments down below. Oh, don't forget as well in the comments below to let us know whether you think the orange Smarties taste different because me and Abby say yes, they taste of orange and we would do a blind taste test to prove it. Brooke said no, they just taste exactly the same. And um, yeah, we, we know a lot of people that are, you know, some are with us and some are with Brooke. So let me know in the comments below, do you think orange Smarties taste different from normal Smarties? Right, time for our crazy Christmas karaoke now. And yesterday's one was... Oh, it doesn't show signs of stopping. And I got me some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So I've got me some corn for popping, was the words. And today's song is going to be You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing, let's be jolly. So what is that from? Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, another brilliant song. I just love all these songs. Um, so, yeah, and you're still all doing very, very well with it. So let me know what your answers are. Now, that is the end of today's Vlogmas. I just want to quickly say to you, I'm going to be recording my Q&A on the Friday. So if you've got any questions that you haven't asked me yet that you want to know the answer to, you've got until probably Thursday, I would say, to put them in the comments below. So on Friday, which is the, the 18th, I think. So by Thursday, the 17th of December, write in the comments of any of my videos what you would like to ask me. It can be Christmas related, it can be personal related, it can be dog, it can be YouTube, it can be anything you want. So if you've not already asked a question and you want to, please feel free to do that and I will answer it for you when I record it on Friday. I'm not sure what Vlogmas it will go in, but it will be up soon. So yes, I just wanted to remind you of that, just in case. Right, I'm going to head off now. So thank you so much for watching this. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to me in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16. Thanks everyone, bye! Remember to be kind to each other. Santa's watching!